The Atlanta Falcons, uh, they stood out to me. They didn't necessarily impress me. <laughs> they didn't impress me. Uh, but they left me tongue-tied. Because, as you know, probably like last month, actually. Time flies, but last month. It seems like a long time ago, but Kirk Cousins received a huge payday from the Atlanta Falcons. We paid him $180 million uh, for four years, I believe it was. Falcons paid Kirk Cousins who's in his back end of the 30s, $180 million with most of it guaranteed for four years. And then we turn around in the draft and draft a quarterback named Michael Penix Jr., who's phenomenal. But bro, what are we doing here? And I seen a report today where the Atlanta Falcons GM, he said, oh, well, Penix Jr., he's expected to at least um, be behind Kirk Cousins for four to five years. Bro, that's just mind blowing to me because that's a little bit insane that to keep such a, a, a great talent behind someone and on the sideline for four to five years. And we need to see how old Michael Penix Jr. is because I think he's 25 and obviously quarterbacks have a longer expectancy um, at the quarterback position. But still, you don't want the guy getting his NFL debut at age 30. Like, what the hell? So to me, I'm like, okay, immediately I'm thinking, all right, are we going to draft him or, or we drafted him? Are we going to trade him to somebody to get more ammo on either the defensive end or the offensive end? Or are we really going to hold on to a quarterback that we don't need who can clearly be a game changer somewhere else? So, you know, they, they left me speechless here and, you know, I, I was kind of mind blown, but we got to see how old Michael Penix Jr. is because... I mean, this, this just doesn't add up to keep a guy like this on the sideline for so long when we know how effective he can be um, playing in the NFL. He's 23 right now, but I, I mean, ultimately, wait five years, 27, making a debut in the NFL? Woo! I don't, I don't really stand behind that. All right. There was another team, another pick that stood out the most to me, the uh, Los Angeles Chargers. I like their pickup. They picked up an old lineman, and to me, this solidified that signal of starting fresh and just completely rebuilding. We've seen the Chargers give away damn near all of their pieces. <laughs> damn near all of their offensive pieces this offseason a few months ago. Um, so now when I see them draft the lineman this high, I'm you know it stands out to me pretty much saying that they're trying to build uh, from the ground up build that lineman up first or, or build that offensive line up and then, you know, start working at the skill position. So it just solidified a rebuild for the Chargers. Um, I thought the Chiefs, I love the Chiefs move. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Thank you, Bills. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Buffalo Bills. I, look, I'm not a Chiefs fan. As you know, look, as y'all know, NFL, I just cheer for team. I, I like teams. I'm not about to go explain this all over again. You got to go back and catch one of the episodes, but I like teams. I'm not necessarily a bandwagon, but some people say that I have a select few teams that I like, but I really do want the Chiefs to three-peat. I think it's. I think it would be nice to see the Kansas City Chiefs three-peat be the only team in history to, to actually make that happen. So, Thank you, Buffalo Bills. <laughs> Thank you, Buffalo Bills. Uh, you, you traded with the Chiefs to give them this great pick. Now you give them an elite receiver, one of the fastest receivers in the NFL, the fastest receiver in this draft, Xavier Worthy. So now, oh my gosh, the Chiefs, they got a uh, Hollywood Brown as a receiver, and now they have one of the fastest guys in the draft, Xavier Worthy. And man, I'm just this just this is great for the Chiefs. This is great for the Chiefs above all. I, I love this moves for the Chiefs, and you know I'm excited for it. Last thing here, last team that stood out to me in the draft was the Detroit Lions. They also made a, a great, great, great trade with the Dallas Cowboys. Almost said the Mavericks there. But they made that great deal with the Dallas uh, Cowboys. And the Cowboys, man, I don't know what the hell going on with them. I don't know what's going on with them. But, hey, thank you because, you know, the hometown team, Detroit, hey, I would love to see them, you know, get back to where they were last season. And it's going to take a lot. And it's going to take pieces like Arnold to, you know, really lock down at the cornerback position and help the Lions get there. 